here are the five worst parts about the Astros allegedly cheating by stealing catcher signs electronically over the course of the last several seasons. Number one, it's flat out captured, on video, documented, shared on the internet for everyone to see. There's just way too much evidence here now and way too many trusted sources coming forward to confirm what's actually been happening. Now to this point, not much has even been challenged on the other side by the Astros, but how can it be denied? It's logistically difficult to fathom any good excuse here Yet I'm sure we're about to hear one soon. And take it from somebody who knows the technology, Minute Maid Park is already well wired to put a camera feed in that hallway behind the dugout that you've seen pictures of. And unfortunately, the effort to pull all of this off, something like it, was very minimal. Number two, the timing is such that everyone can hide right now. I mean, this bombshell story comes out here in mid-November and great reporting, obviously, via The Athletic, and the courage of Mike Fires included to be named as one of those sources. However, if this all developed in midsummer, with, you know, games going on and vacations not taking place like they are right now, you'd have to think the Astros' accountability would be so, so much greater. Instead, as it happens now, this story comes out here at the beginning of the offseason, and because of that timing, you feel like it may never be addressed to the fullest of scales. Number three, maybe we should have seen all of this coming. For example, we know the strikeout rate in baseball is reaching new amazing highs. In fact, a number now that's gone up each of the last 14 seasons in a row. Yet somehow the Astros have been able to be that rare team that's striking out less in the last three years. And I mean like a lot less. From 2013 to 2016, Houston was either the worst or second worst team in all of the American League in terms of strikeouts. And then 2017 rolls around. They strike out the least in the league. And coincidentally, the team also improved from 84 to 101 wins in that year. So obviously, yeah, they were a better team. But what came first here? The chicken or the egg? And it goes on from 2017 to 2019. They remain either the first or second lowest K team in the American League. Look, cutting down on strikeouts 5-7% to in an age where everyone else is up 5-7% to is not a good look. Number four, since the Astros right now seem like they're in the process of getting caught, we have yet to realize that all of this is going to cloud future accusations. It may only be one team right now, yes, but it's a huge black eye on baseball. Moving forward in an era where iPads are already used in dugouts, Fans are going to ask a lot more questions in the future than they ever have before. And conspiracy theories are going to multiply. Fair or not, now that we've realized the new ways of utilizing technology to baseball teams' advantages. Like, for example, let me run this one past you. Instead of going to the dugout, let's say that camera feed from center field goes straight to a luxury box, where a team employee sees the signs and then activates a vibrating wristband directly on the hitter. There's no sign of cheating at all. How exactly would that be caught? Number five, how can all of this be rectified? It really can't. I mean, we can't go back and give the 2017 World Series over to the Dodgers, can we? Or should we? And should the 2019 World Series have even gone to seven games? I mean, how do you think teams like the Nationals or Yankees feel about these last playoffs? And personally, what about the Oakland A's? who finished six and 10 games back of Houston in the last two seasons, respectively. Do we think that stealing signs accounted for just like one win for Houston per year? I mean, what if that number turned out to be like a dozen? Should the A's have actually won the West in 2018 and 2019? We obviously can't change the past, but the present and the future, they definitely need to be addressed.